This is one of the most requested topics lately, so let's see who would win a fight between a polar bear and a Siberian tiger. Polar bears and tigers are the apex predators. They stand at the top of their food chain. Polar bears, also called white bear, sea bear or ice bear, great white northern bear found throughout the Arctic region. Except for one subspecies of grizzly bear, the polar bear is the largest and most powerful carnivore on land. It has no natural predators and knows no fear of humans, making it an extremely dangerous animal. The Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger, is the largest of all of the wild cats in the world. Today, there are only about 400 Siberians to be found in the wild. Description Polar bears are stocky, with a long neck, relatively small head, short, rounded ears, and a short tail. The male, which is much larger than the female, weighs 900 to 1600 pounds, 410 to 720 kilograms. It grows to about 5.3 feet, 1.6 meters, tall at the shoulder, and 7.2 to 8.2 feet, 2.2 to 2.5 meters in length. Sunlight can pass through the thick fur, its heat being absorbed by the bear's black skin. The broad feet have hairy soles to protect and insulate, as well as to facilitate movement across ice, as does the uneven skin on the soles of the feet, which helps to prevent slipping. Strong, sharp claws are also important for gaining traction, for digging through ice, and for killing prey. The Siberian tiger averages about 11 feet, 3.3 meters in length, with a tail measuring 3 feet, 1 meter. Adult male Siberian tigers can weigh up to 700 pounds, 320 kilograms, while females are significantly smaller, weighing up to 400 pounds, 180 kilograms. Siberian tigers are distinguishable by their striped fur. Similar to people's unique fingerprints, no two tigers have the same striped pattern. Siberian tigers differ from other tigers because they have fewer, paler stripes, and they also have manes. The mane, in addition to their thick fur, helps keep them warm. Habitats and Distribution Polar bears are only found in the Arctic. The most important habitats for polar bears are the edges of pack ice, which currents and wind interact, forming a continually melting and refreezing matrix of ice patches and leads. Because of climate change, the coastal plain is becoming a more critical denning area, with the decrease in sea ice. While some populations are doing okay, the southern Beaufort Sea population that resides in the Alaskan and Canadian Arctic is struggling to survive, with only an estimated 900 bears remaining, a decrease of over 50% from earlier estimates. This big cat lives in a much smaller area than it has historically roamed. Most Siberians' tiger live in eastern Russia and northern China. Their population lives primarily in the Sokoti Alin mountain range. The primary habitats of the Siberian tiger are taiga, or snow forest, birch forest, and boreal forest. They live in very harsh conditions. Winters are extremely cold, and snowfall can be very high during the winter. The vast majority of the population lives in remote, mountainous regions, far from any human settlement. Much of their habitat choice also revolves around prey availability. Feeding Polar bears are solitary and overwhelmingly carnivorous, feeding especially on the ringed seal, but also on the bearded seal and other pinnipeds. The bear stalks seals resting on the ice, ambushes them near breathing holes, and digs young seals from snow shelters where they are born. As their prey is aquatic, polar bears are excellent swimmers, 
and they are even known to kill beluga whales. In swimming, the polar bear uses only its front limbs, an aquatic adaptation found in no other four-legged mammal. Polar bears are opportunistic as well as predatory. They will consume dead fish and carcasses of stranded whales and eat garbage near human settlements. The Amor tiger needs large prey to survive, and its main prey species are ungulates, wild boar, sicker deer and red deer. In the summer, tigers may prey on smaller animals such as badgers and raccoon dogs. Bears comprise about 3% of the tiger's diet. There are rare cases on record of adult brown bears being killed and eaten by Amor tigers. Brown bear cubs are killed more often, and a smaller Himalayan black bear also appears on the Amor tigers' menu. Their hunting method primarily involves stealth. They get as close to their prey as possible and leap upon it to capture and kill it. Behavior Polar bears are solitary except for mating pairs and females with offspring. They may come into competition with each other when there is the chance to scavenge when a seal is killed. Polar bears can dive underwater to catch their prey, keeping their eyes open while holding their breath for as much as two minutes. They are inactive for a good part of the time, lying, sleeping or waiting. Unlike other bears, polar bears do not hibernate in the winter. Tigers are solitary animals, except during the mating season and when the females give birth. They like to be mostly alone, roaming their huge territories in search of food. They are territorial, marking their territory with scratch marks on trees. These animals are most active during the night, when their prey is most active. They can, however, be active at any time. They are very good swimmers and can kill prey while swimming. Now it's time to find out who would win a fight, a polar bear or a Siberian tiger. We are talking about the two largest and dangerous creatures of wildlife. If both come head to head, what will happen? Now, based on the fact that Siberian tigers sometimes do actually hurt and successfully prey on brown bears much larger than themselves, say that the Siberian tiger definitely has a good chance of winning. And large brown bears are not that much smaller or less heavy than polar bears either. So if Siberian tigers can kill large brown bears, which they have been confirmed to do many times, it is very plausible to conclude that a Siberian tiger could win a fight with a polar bear with the same tactics it uses to successfully hunt and kill large brown bears. The Siberian tiger is the largest big cat. It's very fast and moves with great speed, higher agility, a strong, large, muscular body frame, big and powerful jaws, very long, dagger-sharp canines, and razor-sharp, retractable claws that are curved for gripping very tight. Its disadvantages are that they are lighter in weight, not as large and bulky compared to the biggest bears. Their skin is not as thick as a bear's and low stamina level. Polar bears are the largest land mammalian predator. It is so huge and has a very bulky physical build, a very thick, fatty layer of skin that is hard to penetrate in most areas. Very heavy total body weight, very strong and large paws. The disadvantages of this bear are that they have short and small canines compared to tigers. Claws are very long, but not very sharp. Slower movement and reflexes. Definitely not as fast as the big cats, and very little agility. Neither animal is good at stamina. Polar bears overheat quickly, and tigers are built more for brief attacks of aggression. For a Siberian tiger, without the element of surprise, versus a fully grown polar bear. It's a fairly safe bet that the absolutely massive size of the polar bear will help it win in a deathmatch versus the world's largest cat. However, 
If a fully grown large Siberian tiger has the element of surprise, then it might get lucky enough to sever sufficient bones and sinews in the bear's neck with its crippling, incredibly powerful neck ambush. Russians have also found tiger fur in bear poo, indicating these massive land predators do occasionally attack and kill tigers. So I'd say that they are equally matched with a 50-50 chance of both the Siberian tiger and polar bear winning in a fight with each other. It could go either way, all depending on which animal uses its weapons and strength in the best way to gain the upper hand. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.